from the JES First Warning Weather Center. Here's meteorologist Christy Stewart. Well, earlier today we did have a couple of tornado warnings in North Carolina. Now our weather is a little bit quieter, but we aren't done with seeing impacts from Tropical Depression Claudette just yet. Right now the center of that rotation is sitting right around the South Carolina, North Carolina border, and that is going to be continuing to make its way into North Carolina and then re-strengthen over land as a tropical storm. That's going to be continuing to then make its way towards the Atlantic, and while it does that, it is going to be moving right through our North Carolina counties and the Outer Banks. So we are looking at seeing some tropical storm impacts. We do have a tropical storm warning that is in effect for Dare County until Monday around noon. So we are looking at having some flooding concerns and as well as some brief spin up tornadoes as well throughout the night tonight and throughout Monday morning. We have a flash flood watch that is in effect for those areas as well until 12 p.m. on Monday. So we are looking at seeing about one to three inches of rain as well as storm surge up to about two feet. So be prepared to see some minor flooding out there as well as potentially seeing a couple of brief spin up tornadoes. Again, right now we are under a level one threat, but we did already see a couple of tornadoes spinning up under that level one threat. So that is possible throughout the night tonight as well as into tomorrow. Tomorrow, very hot, very humid day. High temperatures in the low 90s, feeling like the upper 90s, very tropical air out there and seeing those scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout Monday morning. Monday afternoon, dryers should be able to see a little bit of sunshine, but come midday Tuesday, we'll see more scattered showers and thunderstorms ahead of an approaching cold front. That cold front does pass through late Tuesday night into very early Wednesday morning, so maybe a couple of lingering showers Wednesday, but most of Wednesday should be dry and will be dry to end the work week as well as losing that humidity and cooler high temperatures in the mid to the upper 70s. Next weekend will feel a little bit more summer like.